Hello guys, this is Superhuman X back here again with another game. Thanks for joining Kuma Revolution. Today we are playing ReCore. This is the first Xbox One game that I um decided to play. Now, I, I'm not entirely sure if you guys remember, but I stated before that this is the first that I did get an Xbox One for Christmas, so I decided to play ReCore for the very first game. Uh because let's see, what other games did I receive? I received Snoopy's Grand Adventure. So that was an option. Chose not to because uh didn't look as good as I thought it was gonna look and uh I got Rocket League and don't really like Rocket League as much. But I did get another game and I mean oh there was Dead Alive 5, I forgot about that, but uh that's that's until I played Dead or Alive 1 through 4. So uh yeah, can't do that quite yet. But, on the plus side, I did get another game. I have a few other games. I have, a, uh, you know, I have Sunset Overdrive. Uh, I have a couple other one games. And anyways, we're at the part, planet Far Eden, long after the Dust Devil plague on Earth. So, Dust de Devils? Dust Devils were just tornadoes. Oh, I get it. So, sandstorms basically destroy the Earth. According to what this it seems like here. So there's Mac. Mac's my buddy over there. He's the dog. And that's me. My name is Joel. Joel, not like J-O-E-L, but Joel's you. A B C D E F E H G L N U R S T U V W X. A B C D E F E H G L N U R S T U V W. Gosh, one messing with me. A B C D E F E H G L N U R S T U V W X. Q R S T U Yeah. Joel was a U. You know, like Becky was the good hair. Except Becky doesn't have good hair. In any case, we gotta track down the source here. So like any game, you can jump. And Joel apparently has these uh, supernatural abilities to climb up. Very difficult heights. Oh, and you can double jump. Because humans, because human or human-like creatures can double jump in games. Which I don't really understand why like, the technology behind double jumping. But, apparently that's the thing. Now, that thing, I'm not entirely certain what that is, but apparently it's bad. Oh, I have a gun, too. My gun is the weapon, essentially. So I have to essentially like everything I use, everything I do, that's my weapon. I, I have to shoot them all, shoot them all, and you know, hope for the best, really. But actually, my gun is actually rather effective, as uh, as in later in this playthrough, uh, you guys will see. Now these things here actually aren't that hard to go through. And yes, I, I this is pre-record. This has already been recorded, and I'm like voicing over this again. And I think I've said that before. Like a lot of this is going to be like, you know, already pre-recorded and done afterwards. Because, you know, I have a roommate, and again, I'm respecting his wishes. But on the plus side for me, it, there's only like a month left. So then after this month ends. I can freely record, like, record how I'm used to doing it, but I have to get through, like, a good chunk of these episodes, and I'm almost finished with the videos that I have here, so, uh, that's good, I finally hit that point, and I've actually almost finished the review, so, that's good, all I have to do is get some images and actually, like, make the images here. Now, this, this is something amazing that I didn't realize here. Yeah, there are things crawling around here. But what I didn't realize here is that you can you can just let it shoot and it automatically aims for you. So you just keep shooting and shooting and shooting. Now of course you have like a limited amount of ammo before you run out, so you have to kind of stop eventually. Yeah, so you have to kind of wait. But I got an achievement that said like more than twenty. 
There's apparently one where you can do more than 30. It was either like 30 or 50. Or some large number like that. Either way. Either way. I had fun. Shooting things are probably the most is the best thing this whole entire game, especially when they don't move. Because when they don't move, it's actually rather amazing. It's like, geez, how much I can, how much of a combo can I make? Oh, and those are um, cell bots there. Cell bots are generally like hidden around. They're generally close to the area that you need to be in, but you know, not. But, in any case, you use those to open things, or make things move, or other things. Mac, listen. You hear that? So again, right now, the basic enemies that I have to face are anything that flies, really. So, you know. What was I shooting at all the way over here? Oh yeah, that thing took Mac, that's right. Oh, and you also get this big shooter too. A charge shot, it calls it. And essentially, uh, it's like a dis disabler. And you can dash. You know, it disables, it, it's also an attack move that does a little bit more damage, but I don't think it does as much as like just normal shooting. My thoughts. Oh wait, I just triple, I dash, and then I double jump, and I dash again. So you can do it, it's just, why? So, okay. So, this is another thing. You have a uh, hook shot. Not, I guess the hook shot's kind of what you would call it. But you have a hook shot. And the hook shot will get you these cores, which I will show you guys later. But... What I didn't realize at the time when I was recording this is that you have to pay attention to your line. Uh, if your line turns, you you have a couple of warning signs with your lights. You have a white line, and you have a red line. Now you have instant extract at times, but you have to get to a certain point before that's like effective. So here. Oh, here, I wasn't entirely certain yet. So see how my line turns red? That's the warning. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. That's essentially your warning. Before you can, uh... You know. For instantly, you need to... Uh, you know. Let go of the line, because you have to pull down. Now, this is a lethal command. Oh! Oh, I get it. Oh, those little charge things, that's her lethal commands. I get it. Okay. Got it, got you, got you, got you, got you. Oh! <laughs> I forgot, I played this already and I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, you might have noticed that there are different colors, too, when it comes down to, uh, these, uh, enemies that you have to face off, too. Yeah, see how it, like, changes color? Right is kind of your warning, white is kind of a sign that is going to break. So you have to be careful. And the more damage you do, the um, easier it is. But you also have to be careful of the enemies around you, too. But you might have noticed that they're like different colors as well. Of these enemies. And the thing about these enemies is that, yeah, you'll, you'll eventually, what's in the game, apparently, you're supposed to get different kinds of bullets. Now, as of this recording, I found one, and I feel like that you're supposed to have more at this point. 
but I'm not 100% certain about that either. So, I mean, I'm going to look back at these once I finish uh, this particular recording, and I'm just going to make sure, 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 certain that, that, you know, that's not the case. Because if I'm going too fast, and I could have had, like, all four of my bullets, because there's, um, other than the normal white one, the white one, that's the one you're using. There's, a uh, red and blue, as you guys are seeing here. Oh. Right. There are also snakes. Snakes. Snakes like uh, caterpillars. Caller caterpillars. Mm. What else is I doing here? Oh yeah, that's right. You have to defeat all of them. Like they, they're each essentially like a head. Each, uh, like separately, all together they're a caterpillar. But separately, even if you separate them, they're each their own head. So you gotta be careful of those. Yeah, I'm like doing this and I haven't seen my own gameplay in a while. Now another thing you I've noticed about this game, which is weird, is that if you go too fast ahead of Mac, somehow Mac will just instantly like boop, he'll just be there. Now I don't know why I'm so scared of like these jumps. Or why I think everything has an area where you can dig. But it's clear that there are areas that he can dig, and there's areas that he can't. So, you just gotta have to be smart about where those areas are. Yeah, so, he can't jump over there. That's too far for him. And he jumps down. Oh, no, but he jumps. Look at that jump! He just jumped, he just walked down, he walked another way, and then he just went like, whoo! Boom! Yeah, he has amazing jumping abilities for a dog. And this isn't a dog. This is just a normal being here. Alright, well, here we go. Boing, oops, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. My extractor should work on this door, just like before. Yeah, and there's door opening and all that. I don't remember what I'm, what my goal is here. It's some sort of weird goal. Yeah, so like I said, the charge shot does extra damage here. Oh, and it's also a shield break too. I think that's what it said. It's a shield breaker. Ah, that's delicious orange. Aid. So what's up? What's up? What's up? I got my gun out. I got my doggy doggy. And there's some item over here. Oh yeah. Right. I gotcha. I know exactly what I'm doing here now. I'm jumping down and I'm getting close to this core. I have to look up. Yeah, just gotta extract it. There I go. I'm about to extract this core. Oh, right. Right, because of course, you wouldn't just be able to take it. Why would you be able to just take it whenever you wanted to? No, that's not a thing. <laughs> Silly me. Why do I think that that was a thing? Oh, and they also can change colors too. Which I also didn't realize was a thing that they could you could do in this game. But they can change colors like instantly. And they don't even have a limit to how many times they can do it. They can just do it if they want to. They can change from red, blue, to white. So you kind of have to change your bullets accordingly. And later on, 
there will be multiple enemies and some of them won't change the colors so then you kind of have to uh, be be quick about it come on extracted me you also can't be like I said you can't be two legs Can't be too act, can't be too rushy about it. You have to. Yeah, you gotta have to. Yeah. Yeah, come on, me. Yeah. If I don't extract it now, I have to know. You know, I have to be quick about that. No, come on. Extract it. Extract it now. Let, let it go. No! No! You idiot! Come on, me! I can extract this core! Extract it! It's not that hard. It is literally the easiest core. One of the easiest cores of this type that you can get in this game. So come on. Yes! I got it! I, me, got this core, and this thing is dead. This is my core now, and ooh, shiny. Look how shiny this core is. This core, with all this fragment, it's like it's trying to tell me a story, but it's not. Oh, but that's right. Are mixed together. That's right. Come here, boy. You know. It's kind of weird that, like, there's a dog like figure within this game. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I would love it if there was actually, like, a real dog and a dog just so happened to get, like, powers based off those equipment? I don't know. It just seems kind of weird to me that, you know, my best friend is a dog. Best friend is not really a dog, it's just like a mechanical dog that I built, I guess. Of course, you know, Mac is not the only one of this species type that I can get. He just so happens to be the first and the one that is predominant throughout the majority of the game. And you can probably get away with a lot with Mac. Although I feel like that like as this, I think I've recorded like five or so episodes of this. So I think I'm actually rather close to getting the second one. I know there's four you can get according to the um, the uh, intro, the intro video thingamajig. I know there's like four. I think I'm close to the second one, and there's apparently a person, another person you can get, and that person helps later on but don't I don't know all the details about this game I don't even know if I'm really going about this correctly I think I'm going about to this too fast and I've actually done like really well despite not having everything I need so um yeah that's okay <laughs> like I said I just really hope that um you know I'm not going too fast I know you guys might. I, I think you guys aren't hearing a lot of the story, uh, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I'm sleepy. I, I just want to get these episodes out. I want to get these episodes out. But anyways, here's the crawler. The crawler is is your. It's essentially your hub. It's the one safe place that you can go to, and you won't have to worry about you know any crawlers or anything else. You can just simply go in here, and you can, um, you know, you'll see, you'll see. I don't want to spoil too much about it.
There it is. So yeah, looks like everything's okay. Looks like this core is super powerful. It powered my core and you know it's not like it's not like lowering the power of the core. The core is extremely powerful. That's just like some sort of simple tool. So anyways, that's my dad-ish. I think that's my dad. That's my dad or somebody important to me. Listen, I just wanted to tell you I've got a little more work to do here. But they're holding a space for me on the next evacuation fleet. And I'll meet you on Far Eden. Just like I promised. So like, your goal is to figure out where he is. The long scheme of things. Nothing is going according to plan. So that last recorded message was at Pylon 521, and that's actually the, like the first level. And remember when I said you had to get like multiple bullets? I believe that this is the first place where you get those bullets. I don't think I'll get it by the time of the second episode, but I think the third episode I will get a bullet that will help me in terms of like my adventure. However, that being said, I don't know if I'm going about this too fast because I feel like I'm supposed to be having more bullets at this time because it keeps showing me examples that show me an affinity between do 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 then uh you know show me I have more of an arsenal and it feels like I'm going way too fast which is actually pretty amazing if if that's if that's the fact that I'm going about this too fast it's impressive I've gotten this so so far but anyways at this bench you can um this is where you kind of work on a uh, research parts where you can put it on your core bots you can go to your core bots and you can level them up you can uh, use materials into train more materials so you use them towards your blueprint and you can fuse um, the cores that you extract. That's essentially like your level up. Your level up system. Actually, it's not really a level up system for your core boss, because your core boss actually level up just the same way you do through combat. It improves their stats in a way. So like you level up and you like you'll get X amount here or there, but you actually have to like insert your uh shit. Oh, of and then it gets stronger, and then I think the level as you go up um, changes here, here, and there, everywhere. But here's my stash, and my stash, yeah, those are the um, equipment that I have, and that's, you know, my core is going here, and yeah, fusion conversion except successful. So, anyways, that's the first episode, really. Um, I don't really do too much more here, but, you know, great. So yeah, this is my crawler here. Uh, you know, don't, don't really do anything. I have to leave out here and walk the rest of the way. But, um, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this record, because I, because this game actually is not that bad. Uh, it's... I think this game had a lot more has a lot more potential than what it has, but uh, you know whatever. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for again for joining me for this video. If you liked what you guys saw, set scene, and please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.